Hi folks, what's up? I'm Michael from VSR and this is the second part explaining in more detail what class A is and how to achieve it. In the first video I explained that the main goal to achieve class A is to have nice light lines because this is what makes a product look good. In general that means that I need curvature continuity on surface transitions but there are more things to respect like control point distribution. In fact a good control point distribution sometimes is more important than a 100% perfect transition and this is what I would like to show you here. In this example I want to create a blend in the upper area here so the remaining hole has four sides which I can easily fill with an untrimmed surface. So I'm starting VSR surface blend, choose curvature for both sides and select the input edges. After the selection you already see the handles in the graphics area. I use the right mouse button to open a context menu on the lower handle here and choose the option partial. This projects the opposite endpoint to this edge to determine the new position. I now use the context menu here to make the blend edge on this side free from any alignment. This creates my wanted surface blend result with very nicely and evenly distributed control points. While still being in the surface blend creation, I can open the VSR light lines analysis to control the visual quality of my result. Doing so, you can see we got a very harmonious flow of light lines over the input surfaces and the created blend. But as you can see, the transition on the left side is not perfect. We've got a curvature error of 0.0077. I can deactivate the analysis display with the option matching in the function window but usually you want to see the mathematical transition quality of the created blend. When clicking on options, you get two additional windows, one for each input edge, where you can change the parameters for the analysis. Checking position and tangency for the left side, we see both are perfect, it's just curvature having a small error here. Doing the same on the right, position is perfect, we got a slight tangency error here, and curvature is perfect again. So what's this? Why doesn't the blend deliver perfect transitions here? Well, you can create a perfect mathematical blend manually here, so let's do this and have a look at the result. I'm using this handle here to modify the distribution of the control points on the right side, also pressing the shift key to force an immediate recalculation of the blend. Then I'm doing the same here on the left side. Okay, this got to be good enough, just trust me I could get it to zero too with a bit more work. Checking again all transition qualities, we see we've got a more or less perfect matched blend now. But this resulted in a very uneven distribution of the control points. Activating the VSR light lines again, the result is very wavy now in this area. It looks like the surface has a dent there, something you should clearly try to avoid. I could now use the local undo in VSR Surface Blend to get back to the initial result, but another option is to access the context menu of the handle again and use Reset Shape in the Shape submenu. So on the first look the light lines look better with the initial shape, but we should of course check carefully if the shown transition error is acceptable. To do so, I'm zooming into the area of the indicated maximum arrow and move the light lines so that one line crosses exactly at that point. The light lines are based on the Rhino mesh settings, so make sure that this display is good enough to allow this kind of judgement. Otherwise you might end up seeing an error in the light lines that doesn't really exist. Checking now a light line directly crossing at the point of the maximum arrow, it still looks great, so we can accept this. I'm now activating the display of the tangency analysis for the other side and check that point there too. Instead of moving the handle to get the light line positioned right, you could also increase or decrease the number of cycles in the light lines window to get one there. Even when zooming in closely, we can't see a problem in the light lines here, so that error is acceptable too. So the message here is Try to get evenly distributed control points, as this causes nice light lines. If that should cause minor errors in the mathematical analysis, 
check them with lightlines to see if they are relevant. Another criterion for class A is the number of control points. There should be just the really needed amount of them. In this example it would be three rows from each side in this direction, which is needed for curvature continuity, and three rows in the other direction, as this is the maximum of the inputs. Ok, just to show you the difference, I will try the same in Rhino without the VSR tools now. I'm starting surface bend, selecting the input edges and make sure the continuity is set to curvature. I'm then using the Rhino object snap to shrink the blend and give it the wanted shape. The first problem is that I can only see the control points of the edges, but not the remaining ones. I can only guess by having a look on the shape of the displayed ISO curve. If I now try to start the Rhino Zebra function, which is the equivalent of the light lines, this cancels my current command. So in native Rhino I have to finally create the blend before I can judge its quality. You can already guess by the shape of the ISO curve that the result is not the wanted one. Let's have a look at the blend with the Rhino Zebra function. And doing so you can see that the transition of the blend to the input surfaces is not satisfying. Having a look at the control points we can see why this is the case. They are not well distributed and there are also more control points than needed for this. So wrapping it up, what do I need for class A? I need functions to create curvature continuous transitions while only creating the minimum of the needed control points so it's easy to modify the shape and to keep the geometry smooth. I have to be able to control the creation and modification of geometry with the light lines but also with analysis so I know where exactly to check the data. In addition to that I need a good surface layout, something I might cover in another video. You can download a three-week test version of ESR shape modeling on www.virtualshape.com. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.